Hello everyone, Mike the Magic Man is back for another Magic Monday. And first, I wanted to address a couple of things before we got right into the magic. So the first thing I wanted to say was, due to the recent events across the country that happened about a little bit more over than 10 days ago, I wanted to make a statement here on the channel, as I've already done on my Facebook page, making it clear on my views and opinions on the current situation that is happening across America. So with that being said, let me make this very clear right now. I, Mike the Magic Man, as a person, Michael Keyes, as a performer, Mike the Magic Man, will never segregate, discriminate, or treat unequally anybody because of their race, sexual orientation, or religion. So that being said, I believe everybody should be treated equally as long as they're not causing harm. And therefore, as long as you treat me with respect and courtesy, I will do the same to you as a person and as a performer. So if, no matter the situation, as long as you follow what I just said, that I will perform happily perform for you at any event that is open to the public Sometimes I perform for private events, therefore, obviously, that would just be for that small corporation or group. But as long as it's open to the public, I am out on the street. If you come up to me and you treat me with respect and courtesy, I will gladly perform with, for you and treat you equally, no matter your race, your race, religion, or sexual orientation. So I wanted to make that clear at the beginning of this video because I do not feel right not saying uh, I will go forward with this issue as a person. That being said, I also support the peaceful, I want to pause there to make that clear, protests that have been happening across the country and the world. And, once again, I support Black Lives Matter, and I believe everybody should be treated equally. So with that being said, let's get right on to the second part of things I want to address, and that's this table. The table looks a little different, and that would be because it's a little smaller, and it has a different color to it being that it's not the red table topper that I had before. That is because that is in my personal vehicle so I can transport to and from shows which I've been doing recently. Well, one show, but we'll get to that in a second. So this is a table that you'll be seeing going forward most of the time for my videos because it is annoying to log, to log that back up and forth the stairs. So, with that in mind, that's why I wanted to let you guys know about that. Uh, yes, I did actually perform this past Saturday on June 6 at a live event. It was the grand opening for a, lo a local business called Pinspiration. I do know that they have other franchises across the state of Florida and some in Georgia. However, this one is local to where I live. So I went over there, and it, you can find the one that I went to. I'll leave a link down in the description um, to their website, and then you can just type in or know or look for your city and know which one is closest to you. But with that in mind, uh, if you want to find me for any future events or you want to book me for a future event, either one is this is how you would do it. If you want to book me, please message me either through Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Any of those three I check all the time. And I also use Gig Salad. I'll leave every link I can down in the description for this video because of how I am back and performing now. I want to make sure that if somebody does see this video and wants to book me for an event, they can find a way to get contact with me. 
Uh, with that being said, if you want to know when or when I am performing, when or where I'm performing, the best way to do that is to look at my Facebook page, Mike the Magic Man, or Twitter, or Instagram. I usually post on all three of those consecutively, usually Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will usually give you a week's notice before I have that event. I say usually because sometimes I get short notice. Like for example, this past event, I only booked a couple days before the actual date of the event. Therefore, I did not have the proper time to give you guys a week notice. But usually if I do, I will at least try to give you guys a week, if not more, notice. So you guys can make your plans accordingly to go find me and see me perform. See me perform. <laughs> With that being said, let's get into the trick today for Magic Mondays. Let's do the magic part of it. And this trick is similar to the one that I did for the Pimspiration uh, Grand Opening on June 6, and that is because. I know some of, guys, some of you guys couldn't make it out there, so I want to show you the signature trick that I created for that event. So what we're going to do here is we're going to roll our die, it's a 20 side die, this is like a Dragons and Dungeons die, D20, and we got the number 1, which is also across from number 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. So therefore, we will count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So the 21st card is the card we're going to use, which happens to be the Six of Diamonds. So we're going to use the Six of Diamonds here. And we're going to do a couple things. One, we're going to put the number 21 on the front and back of it. And that will mark it for later in the trick. So you guys can see it right there. And right there on the front and back. And that is the number 21 for the position that was in the deck and the number that we rolled on the die. Well, the total. Because 20 plus 1 equals 21. And then we're going to take 1, 2, 3, and 4 safety pins here and put them inside the card or through the card. And the idea there, as I open up the fourth one here, and put the first one in the card, is we're going to be putting a pin or pins in this card. Put a pin in it for pin inspiration. I thought it was a little clever wordplay myself. I was pretty happy with it. So let me get these going through the card here, and then I will show you guys what we have done. So that's three, and then we gotta get one more. And I'm not closing them just yet because I'm going to take them out in about a second here, or a couple of seconds here. So you guys can see all four of the pins going through the card. I'm going to take out each of them, leaving just the holes behind. And then we have our number 21 right in the middle as a marker for this card. Okay, so I want you to get a good shot of that. And I'm just going to place that right there on top of the deck. With that in mind, I'm going to take my wallet here, 
slam it on top. And what has happened is, if we look at the top card now, we can see it's now the King of Diamonds. With no number 21 anywhere to be seen. So no marker on this one. And no holes where the pins went through. So we know that the Six of Diamonds, our card, must have gone somewhere, only could have gone one place. We would see the red card, by the way, on the table, just to make that clear. So I'm going to go ahead and check my wall here. And there happens to be a card inside this wallet. And you guys can see that it has the number 21 on the back of it, and it also has four holes one on each side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pins and toss them in there with our card. One at a time. I'm closing them up right now so that we are make sure to be safe because they are safety pins. So all four pins and the card are inside there, just like that. And we're going to close everything up. We'll use the Sharpie as a magic wand. And let's go ahead and open back up the wallet and see what happened here. So you guys can see inside the wallet is empty now as I pulled out a card. And this is the card from before. We can tell that because first you see the number 21 right in the middle again on the back and the front. But what you may have not noticed is that if you look closely, you can see on each side is a pin. The safety pins, all four of them, are now locked into place as they have penetrated the Six of Diamonds. So thank you guys for watching Matching Mondays and that trick. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are in the area or close to a location of Pinspiration, I highly recommend going and checking them out as a business. And I want to end this video the way I started by saying one more time very clearly that I support the peaceful protests that have been happening across the country. Make that very clear what I said. And that I will never discriminate or segregate from anybody with a different race, religion, or sexual orientation. I believe they should all be treated equally. And I believe that Black Lives Matter. And I support the peaceful protest. So make that very clear for everybody watching this video. Thank you again, guys, for watching. I hope to see you at the future show or event. Or if not, keep watching on the YouTube videos if you can't make it out to that. And I appreciate every every little bit helps. Uh, my Patreon is still running. I, I have two people on that. And that's just, yeah. So if you want to find any more information about anything I've talked about this video you can look in the description below but with that being said have a great day I will see you next time next Monday